Hey guys, you're with GoFit trainer Nima Tufan. We're going over really the Swiss Army knife of recovery tools. This is the Muscle Hook Multi Tool. It is one of my favorite recovery tools, and I'm using it on a weekly basis, if not every day, especially right now. I'm hurting back here, and actually, I'm going to show you how to hit a, such a such a big spot for people when we're stressed out. You know, we tense our muscles up, and if you're training. Those muscles are gonna get tensed up. You're gonna need something like this. So let's first look at, look at this glorious thing. We've got a big hook and a small hook. And at the end of each one, you've got this massage ball. And real quick, while we're on that, notice there's a little part here where you can loosen and tighten this. And the reason here is if I wanna tighten this down and not have too much movement, I can tighten it and secure that a little bit. If I want it to roll a little bit easier, I can loosen just slightly, and this will come out all the way, so just slightly loosen it, and that thing rolls a lot easier. Okay, so our big hook, our small hook, and then we have our massage roller as well. I'm gonna show you each component on one area. Let's start with the big hook. Right here, again, a huge, huge problematic area is this. Uh, neck and trapezius muscle. We think of this as our shoulder. This is actually a back muscle, our trapezius, and it does extend up into our neck. It comes out and it extends back down again and comes to a point somewhere along here. So we're gonna hit that whole area using this big hook. You'll see this small hook is just fine for the neck. And in fact, that's part of what it's made for. I tend to still prefer this, I'll show you why it gives me the handle, and also allows just minimal movement from my wrist here to roll up and down on this neck area. So make sure you stay off of the bony areas, you just wanna stay on soft tissue. I like to use two methods. First, moving and just rolling across the muscles, apply whatever pressure you want. Second, if I find a spot that's pretty tender and produces a lot of sensation, I'm gonna stop on that and then apply as much pressure as I want. Then I'm gonna make sure and breathe through it because we need to relax into that tension. You're, you're working on knotted muscle tissue. So when you go across that tissue and you're pinning it down, we want it to finally relax and just relieve, right? And breath is very important in that, but also conscious relaxation. So you're not just driving against tense muscles. All right, so we've got our neck area and upper trap. This is still part of that upper mid trap here. So I'm gonna roll across right here, but I do love to, again, find spots and just uh, bear down on it. And we've got all kinds of handles here and this hook for good leverage. And it's very easy to put a lot of pressure down, with very minimal effort. When I'm, when I'm trying to relieve tension here, I don't want to be producing a lot of force and tension. So I'm gonna find grips that allow me to put a lot of force into the muscle without a lot of effort on my end. One thing I also like to do is first get this secured and I'll hook my forearm right here and then I can just stack this one. If I really just wanna relax into it, put that pressure there, okay? Then I can work my neck, different movements because that affects that muscle under that pressure. All right, and then let's work into a little bit uh, of the lower portions of that muscle. Again, moving all along. And again, that muscle spans from the spine outward. So you can work away from the spine, up and down along the spine, come outwards, and so on. Now, I can't always reach that very bottom part of the trap, so I'm going to come around here and hook like so. And you've got a nice grip to pull some tension through there. Now with the other arm, you can hold on to this and just stabilize and bear down on it, and that's great. I also like to hook it back here. And this produces A, stability, but I can drive that arm forward and put more pressure into that muscle. All I have to do with this hand is not allow it to come inwards, so push out, and then I can also pull with it. So I'll find my spot, I'll get my shoulders down, make sure my muscles are relaxed, pull into that muscle, and breathe, all right? And then I can do small movements if I want to, but this smaller area down here, I'm just typically gonna pin. So that takes care of the trap. That shows you what you can do with the big hook there. Let's move here. I'm gonna come to a seated position, and I'm gonna show you how to use this massage roller. 
Uh, one of my favorite areas to use it on is the quad muscle. Such a large muscle here, and then you have three he four heads, that's why it's called the, the quadricep, but three that you can mainly see, a lateral portion, a middle, and then your medial, your middle, and then your inside one. So I like to split it up into those three, right? That fourth one is buried deep in there, so if you go push a little harder, you might get there, but I'm gonna just roll it like I'm rolling dough here, okay? Up and down, when I find some spots that might be a little bit more tender, I can do smaller movements right over it, and then I can even pin down on it. You can do this standing, you just wanna make sure if you're standing, you're not bearing down and this muscle isn't tense, right? You kinda of have to sit back here. But if you have a seat, you might as well take a seat, relax through this. I'll turn and hit this inside part of the quadricep that leads all the way to the knee. Anytime we're doing this, again, stay away from bony structures, just hit that soft tissue, and then we'll roll along this outside. Notice how I change my grip here. Find a grip that works for you, where you're not in weird positions creating other issues while you're solving one problem, okay? Th that's why we have all sorts of grips right here. Then I can hit this outside portion. You take it a little further, and now you're hitting that IT band. If you ever have issues with the lateral portion of your knee, runner's knee, sometimes that could be that IT band. So this can help with that. Lastly, let's look at the small hook. We've got the ball roller on this. I'm gonna get on the ground here for this one. And for the foot, you know, you can use our massage ball that comes with that, um, the go roller that's very helpful. But this is awesome as well for the foot. And you'll see a lot of people go from the outside here and you can pull up, roll along the center of that foot, along the arch. One thing I like to do is flip it this side though. Might as well use this other limb, it's just sitting there. So I'm gonna provide a little base here and it gives me a little bit more stability. When I have that stability and I can secure it in different areas, then I can hit more areas, right? So like this inside arch is a little hard to get if I don't have something keeping uh, this hook from flying out this way. So I'll provide that base. If I get it just right, I can just very minimal movement with this right hand Move that roller up and down, okay? I'll get it in between the ball pads of my feet here too. Apply pressure and just pull. So we can sit on spots just like the other examples. <sighs> Breathe through it. Feels great. You can even curl those toes over it. Try some different things, get creative. But again, basic rule of thumb, hit the soft tissue areas, all right? That's our multi-tool, again, the Swiss Army Knife of Recovery Tools. One of my favorites, and now you can see why I'm so excited about it, because you can hit everywhere, and that was just a small portion of it. So if you want to get this thing, check out our website, gofit.net. We have all kinds of other recovery tools, strength tools that you can access, and you can train with us on our app for just $1. All right, we'll see you there. Later.